hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in this video i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using adobe photoshop without any further ado let's get started here i'm using 4 by 4 inches so and the resolution is 300 rgb because it's for social media not for printing all right so now the first thing we are going to do now and i'm going to create a color code so the color code is black already so you can see here is zero 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 is black then now i'm going to my resource file to import the background images i'm going to use in this tutorial okay so the first one to import is this one then scale it then I'll position it around there. Then okay. Go to your filter and then select blur, Gaussian blur. And uh, yeah, I'm going to blur it by 24.9. Then click OK. Then apply your layer mask and select your gradient tool from here. Make sure that here is black. So to know whether it's black then go to your basic then you will see black at the middle here then you click ok now i'm going to blend here it's okay like this all right and the second one and i'm going to import this background image here then i will leave this one around here scale it out a little then click ok and then um, and this one i'm going to my filter again then select your blur gaussian blur and here i'm going to reduce the ratio to 9.0 then you click ok select your layer mask then apply your gradient to to blend it and i'm going to blend the top here and the bottom here all right then and the third one i'm going to import i will go back to my resource file then and i'm going to this image here then i'll position it at the top here click ok and i'm going to change the blending mode to linear dodge then apply your layer mask select your gradient to and I will blend here and over here. Something like this. Okay, then after this one now, then go back to your resource file. And I'm going to bring this one, scale it out. reduce it it's okay like this all right then and i'm going to change the blending mode of this one to soft light something like this Let's take it up a little it's okay then apply your layer mask select your gradient tool then I'm blend over here then you will have something like this click ok to drop your tool then I'm going to bring this one I'll take this one I'll place this one around here then why I will take this one up here then come back to this layer then increase the size something like this on this one I'm going to blow it nine points nine point zero so I made a mistake by changing this one by blow this one so this one there is no need to blow this one so I'm going to delete the filter I'm going to delete the filter over this one 
and then I'm going to change it to soft lights all right then and then reduce the opacity to 63 all right so then I'll bring this one I'll leave this one here then why this one should be the last sorry I made a mistake on that okay so hope you understand this now after i'm done with this one so the next thing to do now i'm going to i'm going to group group it ctrl plus g to group then this is my background okay so we are moving to our test now and i'm going to select our test tool by copying the heading here Ctrl plus C to copy and the font I'm going to use here is Railway then go back to your resource file and I'm going to import this logo here then reduce the size ok then select your test tool Ctrl plus V to paste You can use medium or you use semi bold any one you want to use but here i'm using medium now reduce the size and i'll place it over here all right then i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate and i'm going to bring it over here select your test to ctrl plus a to alight it and now we copy this one over here ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste now i'm going to increase the character spacing it's okay like this Ctrl plus A to select all, then I will apply vertical alignment. Then Ctrl plus D to deselect. Alright, so someone asked me on my last previous tutorial on how to align a test. So, be following this tutorial to understand how to apply alignment like what i did now is to apply center alignment when you apply ctrl plus a that is to select all then you will see that this one will now be active so what you are seeing here is left center right so all this one is you can see here is um top the why this one is vertical and this one is a uh, bottom here yeah. so for an instance now when you see that i'll click on this one now you will see that the test run to the bottom here and when i say vertical here then you will see that it will appear at the center around here now when i apply top then the test will go to the top here then you can see it so the test will go to the top and over here when i say right the test will go to the right and when i say left the test will go to the left when i say center then it will come to the center here so this is the work of the alignment all right so now i'm going to bring it down to this place first of all so i'm going to apply this center here then ctrl plus d to deselect now you can hold your shift key while you drag it to the position you want to place it so that it will not go to the left or to the right so that is to hold your shift key then you drag it and position it where you want to you want it to be when you hold your shift key and you are dragging it you will see a line that appear there so that line is to give you that what you are moving is straight all right so i will position it over here 
Then I'm going to apply a drop shadow on this test. Okay, so and I'm going to use the blending mode here. I'm going to use multiply and my opacity. I'm going to leave it at 100%. The distance, then I'm going to leave it at 3. The spread for and the size, I'm going to change it to 10. Then click OK. All right. Then after this one, then I'm going to apply my test again. And the test I'm going to use is mockup. So this is the mockup I'm going to use for this test. All right. So before then, I'm going to copy this first test here. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool and I'm going to paste Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I will close the character spacing by 0% and I'm going to change the font here. So the font I'm using here, you can see now cost. So sorry if I did not pronounce it very well. Here is the font now cost. All right, then I'm going to change the font color to this orange or yellow color around here. And I'm going to apply my drop shadow. So I'm using the same test uh, shadow effect here. So if you want, then you can reduce this one to eight. That is the size. Then click OK and reduce the size. Then I'll place I'll place it over here for now. Why I will go back to copy this test here worship. All right. Now I'm going to the mockup now. So this is the mockup I'm going to use. So what I will do now is to double click the smart object to open select my test tool then i like it ctrl plus a then ctrl plus v to paste and here i'm going to change the the font to rosilla then i'm going to use rosilla regular then okay now reduce the size all right here yeah, and I'm going to I'm going to close this one then yes to save it so you can see the outcome of the test here yeah? now what I will do now I'm going to open this group here yeah? And I will close the background. All right. Then hold your Shift key plus Control plus Alt key. Then press E. Use it on your keyboard. Then it will create a layer here. So instead of us to go to File, then and begin to export it. So this is the easiest way to apply it when you hold your Shift plus Control plus E then you will create a layer. So from this layer, you can now move it to your design. Now I'm going to reduce the size. So like this would be okay for me. Then I'll position it around here, then click OK. All right. So the next thing now I'm going to do 
I will increase this one a little. It's okay like this. Then I'm going to draw a cycle. Hold your shift key to draw a perfect cycle. Something like this. Then I'm going to fix it here. Then use this arrow then to make it fit inside. Right. So as we have this cycle like this, the next thing I will do on this cycle now, then I'm going to apply a blending effect that layer style to change the art to change the look. So go to your bevel and emboss, then use inner bevel and chisel head. So you can see the setting here. Then the depth is 155, the size is 3. Then the angle here you can see 120, and you can see I'm using this contour. Then click OK. But we are not done yet. Then I'm going to apply inner shadow. So on this inner shadow, then we have our multiply the opacity 57 the distance 3 and the shock is 0 while the size here is 6 then also we have shadow then i'm going to apply shadow so this shadow i'm going to use multiply then the opacity i will leave it at 100 size then leave the distance as 3 the spread 4 and the size then I'm going to change it to 10 then click OK now I'm going to my test document and I will copy this one Control plus C to copy then select your test tool Control plus V to paste and change the font color to black Reduce the size and I will place it here. Something like this. Alright. So then we'll move forward. Go to your, your resource file. And here I'm going to use this image here. So Already, I have created the image the way I want it, so which is this one, and I'm going to leave it in the resource file so that you can make use of it. Then I'm going to import it. Now I will come over here, go back to my test, and I'm going to copy this test here. Control plus C to copy. Select your test tool. And Ctrl plus V to paste. Then change the font to private signature. Change the font color to white. And reduce the size. Then position it around the end. Click all right. So now, come back to the image and I'm going to copy the names, Ctrl plus C to copy, then select your test tool and I'm going to change the font to Rosilla, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Reduce the size. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Select your test tool. Highlight it. Come over to your test to copy. 
then control plus V to paste, control J to duplicate, then you drag this one over here, highlight it, go back to your test, and I'm going to copy this one, then control plus V to paste. Then I'm going to group this one all together. Control plus G to group. Then you can rename this as your images. So whatsoever or officially anyone or ministers. Then before I come to the dates and time, then I'm going to apply this light flare here. Then I'm going to reduce the size of this light flare. Hold your shift key while you compress it this way. Then reduce it. Then I'll position it around here. Then change it to screen. Then I'm going to apply blur. Then go to your filter blur, then Gaussian blur. And I'm going to make it 5.0. Here you can change it to any one you want because of the line there. I think this one is more better. Then I'm going to use this lighter color so that it will not show that white background. So when I apply screen, then you can see that it has a white color here. So the best one to use is this lighter color so that it will not reveal the white background over there okay so the next thing now then i'm going to import this icon for calendar reduce the size i'll position it around here then you can press Ctrl plus I to invert the color or Ctrl plus U. Then drag this one over here to change the color to white. Okay, something like this. Then come over to your test. Now I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy, select your test tool. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. And I'm using the font Rosilla. I will increase the size. Something like this, okay. Then duplicate it, Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Select your test tool, highlight it, then and I'm coming to copy this color here, Ctrl plus V to paste, then change this one to railway, then make it semi bold, reduce the size. Then copy this one, Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then position it around here. Select your test tool, highlight it. Go back to your test document. Then I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy, Ctrl plus V to paste. And I'm going to reduce the size of this one. Now, hold your shift key while you bring it down. Something like this. Okay, then copy the time, control plus C to copy. Then I'm going to, before, the, before this one, then I'm going to bring this icon for time. Reduce the size, then Ctrl plus U for U and saturation, 
then drag it again until you see that it is white all right now select your test tool then come over to this one and i'm going to duplicate it then you drag it up then you can now move this one alight it ctrl plus a to alight then ctrl plus v to paste and i'm going to reduce the size of this one okay so the other things to do again is to bring this icon for the location reduce the size then ctrl plus u then apply white color come over to your test and i'm going to copy the location then select your test tool ctrl plus v to paste and i'm going to change the font here to railway and uh, here i'm going to make it bold And I will reduce the spacing. Reduce the font size. Something like this. Then this spacing I'm going to make it 7 or 8. Then reduce it to 5 is okay. Hold your shift key while you select the icon. Now I'm going to apply this horizontal alignment. Then I'll select it again using my arrow key then to move it this way. Then also hold your shift key while you select the time. Then you use your arrow key to move it to your desired position so having done this one now then i'm going to select this one then and i'm going to click on this one to group it so this is the location why this one is our time and date then use your arrow to bring this one down okay so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to bring this last one this is the glow effect light then i'll position it around here okay then go to your blending mode and i'm going to use saturation you can see the difference there normal and the saturation or overlay so you can see the difference for this here, I'm going to use saturation. Then position it around here. When you turn it off, then you will see the effects. Alright, then duplicate it, Ctrl plus J. And I'm going to bring this one around here. Then I will change it to divide. So you can see the effect of divide here and how it applied to this image over here. Then turn it off, then you will see the differences. So this is what I want. All right. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please kindly subscribe and turn the notification bell on so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video. And uh, another thing again, if you want to proceed any of my graphic design or order, please kindly check the link below to make your order or purchase it from my Fiverr account. Then and if you also want to create a Fiverr account, the link is in the description also. And I use TubeBody to optimize my video. So you can also create your own account using the link below to create your own to body account and optimize your video thank you so much for following i really appreciate you all